This infinite zooming effect is actually really easy to do. I promise you'll be able to do it as soon as you finish watching this video. So first, just arrange all your clips in the order that you want them, and we're gonna trim all of them to a few frames. So I'm actually gonna use the shortcuts up and down to go in between the cut exactly, and with the arrow keys on my keyboard, I'm just gonna go one, two, three, four, five frames over. You can do three or six, doesn't really matter. And I'll press the shortcut W to trim to the end of the clip. Now I can just do one, two, three, four, five, W, one, two, three, four, five, W, for as many clips as you have. Now, if you don't want them to start exactly on the starting frame and you want it to be in a more interesting shot, you can trim it with Q to go to the left or just choose where you want it to start your five frames from and then go one, two, three, four, five, and then trim to the right. And then I'll leave the last clip normal because that's our ending shot. So we have all of these little slivers of our shots. And on the first one, we're just gonna grab the transform effect and add a few keyframes. So I'm gonna add a keyframe on the scale and we're gonna start at 200 and we're gonna go to the end of this frame and we'll, we'll set it to 100. So it goes from 200 to 100. And then I'm also gonna right click on these keyframes and choose ease out for the first one and ease in for the second one. Just some a little bit of speed ramping velocity there. And then for the shutter angle, I'll set it to 200 to give it that motion blur. So now that we've done that once, all I have to do is highlight this transform effect. You can copy it or command C. And then I'll just highlight all of the other clips and command V. It'll just automatically paste exactly the same thing on. And as easy as that, you have your infinite zoom effect. Check out my page and follow for more tips.